二零二二年第七條題目又係有關於親緣關係學啦，咁其實過往咧都有唔少題目係問呢個 phylogenetics 親緣關係學啦，又或者演化關係嘅。今次呢個圖表呢，就係、是、比較返三組嘅生物 X、Y、Z 嘅，比較下佢哋有冇細胞壁啦，同埋亦都比較下呢，喺呢三組嘅生物，佢哋各自都擁有嘅蛋白質入面嘅氨基酸排列次序嘅相似性嘅。咁你見得到啦 ，X、Y 呢，佢哋都係有細胞壁，但係 Z 呢，就係冇細胞壁嘅。而當我哋去比較返佢哋個蛋白質入面嘅氨基酸排序嘅時候呢。而我哋就用 X 咧作為一個參照嘅，咁啊用翻 Y 同埋 Z 做翻個比較啦，咁我哋就見得到啦 ，Z 同埋 X 嘅相似度咧就五十五個 percent 啦，而 Y 同埋 X 嘅相似度咧就係四十五個 percent 嘅。咁而家睇翻題目咯喎，佢就話啦，參考翻以上嘅資料啦，咁究竟以下邊一句嘅句子咧係我哋能夠推斷到出嚟嘅咧？咁其實啦都係考翻我哋直線抽擊答題法嘅啫。諗多咗你就輸㗎啦，得逐一擊破啦喎。Option A 咧就係錯嘅，佢就話咧 X 同 Y 咧都係一個原核嘅生物，亦即係啦，佢哋可以係 U bacteria 細菌啦，同埋 a c u o bacteria 古細菌嘅。咁問題就嚟啦，雖然佢哋都係有細胞壁啫，但係唔代表佢哋都一定係原核生物㗎嘛。啊，佢哋可以係，但係你唔俾佢其中一隻就係細菌嚟嘅。但係另一隻咧，可能係一啲原生生物 protester， 例如 algae 一啲藻類，其實佢都有細胞壁噶嘛。又或者啦 ，X 咧就係細菌咯，但係 Y 咧係真菌嚟嘅，又得。甚至乎佢哋兩個都係植物嚟嘅，又得唔得？又可以喎。咁所以啦，喺呢條題目咧，如果我哋真係想知道啦，喂，佢哋係咪真係原核嘅生物咧？其實係需要多少少嘅特徵嘅。例如啦，喂，原來 X 同埋 Y 咧，佢哋都係冇真核嘅。冇一個核嘅膜嘅，亦都冇一啲咧由個膜所包住嘅細胞器嘅。誒、欸，加埋呢啲咁嘅條件咧，我哋就可以肯定得到 X 同埋 Y 咧都係原核生物啦。然後啦，就去到第二句 B 咯，就係、是、其實都係錯嘅。佢就話 Y 咧，佢就係三款生物當中最低等嘅。你又知係咪佢有細胞壁啫？跟住佢同 X 咧係相距甚遠啫，就代表佢最低等嘅咧咩？唔代表佢係最高等嘅咩？都可以嘅喎，嗱，整個表格咧係唔夠資訊去支持呢一句嘅結論嘅，所以又係錯啦。啊，就去到 C 咯 ，C 咧就好正確啦。佢就話咧 X 同埋 Z 嘅親緣關係咧，就比起同 Y 嘅關係咧，就為之親密喎。誒，咁啊睇翻個數字，你就一目了然啦。X 同埋 Z 比就五十五個 percent 嘅相似。X 同埋 Y 比就得四十五個 percent 嘅程度相似，咁頭先我都已經講過啦，咁所以自不然啦，齋睇數字咧，你已經識得做個比較啦。C 就係答案啦，係咪？跟住啦，去到 D 個嘅咯，都係錯喎。佢就話咧 ，Y 咧同 Z 嘅親緣關係咧，就比起同阿 X 嘅關係咧，又近啲喎。其實呢一句咧。都係冇足夠嘅資訊嘅，因為最緊要嘅就係當我哋比較緊佢哋嗰個蛋白質入面嘅氨基酸排列嘅時候，我哋係用 X 嚟做個參考，做個參照，就唔係用 Y 啊。所以我哋係永遠唔能夠比較到 X 同埋 Z 究竟佢同 Y 嘅關係究竟有幾近或者有幾疏嘅。OK， 好咁啊，當中啦有多一樣嘢咧，想同大家講一講嘅就係題目嘅變奏啦。今次咧就係用個表格啦。跟住要你得出一啲結論啦，直線抽擊啦，係咪？咁但係下次啦，用翻演化樹嘅角度去問你得唔得？梗係可以啦，下次咪可以問下你咯。喂，畫一畫個演化樹嚟睇下你，咁啊快快手同大家畫一次啦，好冇啊？咁同一時間咧，我都加多一隻生物俾你哋啦，例如啦，我加多個誒 P 啦 ，P 咧原來同 X 嘅關係咧就係誒六十個 percent 相似嘅。嗱，加埋嘅話咧，成幅圖咧就會容易睇好多嘅。咁而家成幅圖啦，我哋用翻一個走廊嘅概念啊嘛，係咪？啊 ，X 咧就係、是、我哋嘅參照點，咁所以 X 咧就係擺喺走廊頭啦。跟住啦，就佢同邊個相距最遠咧？同 Y 相距最遠啊嘛，咁 Y 咧就係走廊尾咯。跟住啦，就再睇一睇啦 ，P 同埋 Z 咧，邊個同啊 X 又近啲啊？咁我哋啱啱加咗個 P 咧就近啲噶嘛，係咪？咁啊 P 咧就係近少少嘅。s e 有再遠多少少嘅，咁最遠啊，永遠都係 Y 噶啦。跟住啦，就將呢一個嘅咪咪就屈翻佢落嚟。
咁所以啦，我哋成個演化樹咧就會變成咧一個咁樣嘅形狀啦。喺一個咧就係 P 啦，然後 Z 啦，然後呢度就係 Y 啦，就是這樣。誒加翻 x 俾你先。Two two two question seven is about the phylogenetics question. So in the past there are several question about the phylogenetics and also the evolutionary relationship. So in this table it shows the comparison among three groups of organism x y and z. And then you can see that for the cell wall presence x and y there are cell wall and z there is no cell wall. And then we compare the similarity of the amino acid sequence of a protein found in all three organisms. And then we use X as the reference. Now, so the idea is that in this question, it really checks us the concept about the phylogenetics. So for the concept of phyto phylogenetics, it means that we are comparing maybe the genetic composition among different organisms to show that if they are closely related, their genetic composition should be more similar. And then for the genetic composition, we can recall the concept about the genetic code. So for the genetic code, it determines the amino acid sequence in the protein. Therefore, we can compare the amino acid sequence of the protein to know that how similar are the genetic codes or the genetic compositions among these three groups of organisms x y and z and then you can see that as we used x as the reference therefore if we compare x with themselves so there must be 100 percent similarity and then compare with z 55 percentage uh, similarity and then compare with y 45 percent similarity so let's take a look at the question with reference to the information above, which of the following can be deduced? So it checks us the skills about the straight to the point. You don't need to think too much. Just based on the information and then try to draw the conclusion. So let's go through the answer one by one. Option A is wrong. It says that both X and Y, they are prokaryotes. For example, they are the eubacteria and the archaeobacteria. So we can say that although both X and Y, they have the cell wall, we cannot conclude that they must be prokaryote. Or maybe just either one of them, it is prokaryote. But for the other one, it could be protester. For example, the algae, they also have the cell wall. Or the fungi or the plants, they also have the cell wall. Therefore, both of them may be the plants as well. Therefore, we need some more features to prove that they are really prokaryotic. For example, both of them without true nucleus, both of them without the nuclear membrane, both of them without the membrane bound organelles, for example, mitochondria. So what if they really meet all these criteria? So we can try to confirm that oh, they may have a high chance uh, to be the prokaryote. And let's take a look at option B. It's also wrong. It says that Y is the less advanced among these three groups of organisms. So in this table, there is not sufficient information to support this conclusion. Of why it has the cell wall and why it has the 45% similar uh, to the organism X. But it doesn't mean that it is the less advanced. Maybe it is the most advanced. It's also correct. However, there is no enough information to support either one of the hypotheses. And then let's take a look at the option C. It is correct. X has a closer phylogenetic relationship with X than Y. So how can we know that? Because we can take a look at the table. By using X as the reference, the similarity between X and Z is 55%. However, the similarity between X and Y, it is 45%. And then for the last choice, option D. Option D is also wrong because what the exam says, it says that Y has a closer phylogenetic relationship with Z than X. So it's also not correct. The reason is that the table used X as the reference but not Y. Therefore, it's impossible to compare X and Z in this way. So that's the idea I wanted to talk about in this question. And one more thing I wanted to add is about the possible question variation. To draw or to choose the to draw or to choose the 
一二三四 ，to draw or to choose the evolutionary tree based on this table. So for this table, I would like to demonstrate once again how to draw the evolutionary tree. And in this table, I would like to add one more organism. I call it P. And then the similarity of the amino acid sequence of the protein found in all these four organisms, I mark it a sixty percent. So for this question, we use X as the reference. So we try to use X as the uh beginning of the corridor. Okay. So remember that I. Teach you before the corridor method. So in the first room, it's X, and then for the last room of the corridor, okay, it should be Y because ah、uh, they they are phylogenetic relationship is far away compared with Z and P, and then which room is closer than X? It should be P, and then which room a bit further? It should be Z, and then we turn this part. We turn this part to be the straight line. And then you will see the graph like this with the X here, and then P, and then Z, and then Y, and that is the evolutionary tree we can draw based on this table.